Well, it isn't a life sentence, but a 31 year old man is going to spend the rest of his life in prison for killing a man during a high speed chase in Orion Township. Crash killed 75 year old Rio doctor in July of last year. A crash so bad the engine and transmission were found hundreds of feet away from the van he was driving. As Nick Monticelli reports tonight, the man, this man, Rashid Brown, uh, showed a lengthy rap sheet and was running apparently because he was caught in the act of doing something else. Doc didn't deserve to have his life in this way without warning, without mercy, without reason. Such a violent end to a beautiful person. Rio Doctor had a lot of friends. This one, a buddy from their time serving in the Air Force. And the more friends and family you have, the more people you have missing you once you're gone. He was energetic, very active, and involved with family and friends. He loved life and lived it. Doctor's widow, Deborah, stood up in front of a packed Oakland County courtroom to let everyone know her 75-year-old husband just retired from GM, and they had a lot of plans. I have lost the other half of us, my partner, my supporter, the future we had planned together, the father of my children, grandpa and papa to our grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Rio, though, was killed in July of last year by this man, Rashid Brown. A jury convicted him of second degree murder after a high speed chase that sometimes went 95 miles per hour. Brown slammed into the back of doctor's van, killing him almost instantly. Oakland County deputies say he was involved in an illegal prescription drug ring. And when they caught a friend in the act at this CVS, he took off from the parking lot. The crash was at the intersection of Walden and Baldwin in Orion Township. It was so bad, the engine in Rio's van landed 150 feet away. Doc was a beautiful soul and respectful to others. All those that love Doc and might have loved him in the future have been immensely cheated by his absence. Brown also had his chance to speak and apologized. I'd just like to apologize to you all. I never ever intended for this to happen. I don't even have a recollection of what happened. I'm pretty sure he was a great man to you all and um, very Sorry for taking the life away from you guys. Despite that remorse, though, he was sentenced to 100 to 150 years in prison. And on top of today's sentence, Brown already had a very lengthy rap sheet, including six felony convictions and four misdemeanors. Those definitely played a role in this lengthy sentence. In the newsroom, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. Nick and the judge also took the time to point out that despite his convictions, Brown never attempted to do any probation and that too played a role into his sentencing.